Fire door assemblies are a critical part of a building's passive fire protection system. They help compartmentalize the building, protect the means of egress, and deter the spread of smoke, flames, and toxic gases. Detailed requirements for fire door assemblies, including the inspection criteria, are found in NFPA 80, Standard for Fire Doors and Other Opening Protectives. Over time, components of the assembly will require maintenance, repair, or replacement. If issues are not corrected, the opening protective may not function properly during a fire. Therefore, it is critical for fire door assemblies to be inspected after installation and maintenance work and also annually as required by the applicable codes and standards. Here are 13 criteria that are verified during an inspection. 1. Labels are present and legible. If a label is missing from a component of a fire door assembly, the component may need to be field labeled by an authorized labeling service. 2. No holes or breaks in the door or frame. NFPA 80 addresses the acceptable means for filling fastener holes. Other holes must be treated as a field modification as outlined in the standard. 3. Glazing and glass kit. Glass beads are intact and securely fastened. Recent editions of the codes and standards require glazing in fire door assemblies to be labeled with applicable standards for impact resistance and fire testing. 4. Door frame and hardware are in proper working order. Assemblies must be visually inspected from both sides, and acceptance testing includes closing the door by all means of activation. 5. No missing or broken parts. If deficiencies are noted, they must be repaired or replaced without delay. While this time frame is not defined in the NFPA 80, some AHJs require deficiencies to be addressed within 60 days. 6. Door clearances are within allowable limits. The limitations of NFPA 80 apply to the installed conditions of the assembly. Manufacturing tolerances are not intended to be added to the maximum allowable clearance. Standard gasketing products are not likely to solve clearance problems. To address excessive clearance, products must be listed for use on openings with clearances in excess of what is allowed by the standard. 7. Door closer, spring hinges are operational, and the door is self-closing. Fire doors may also be automatic closing or power operated in accordance with the standard. 8. The door leaves close in proper sequence. This only applies to pairs of doors where one leaf must close before the other. For example, when the inactive leaf is equipped with automatic flush bolts and a coordinator is used to ensure that both leaves close properly. 9. Door is self-latching in the closed position. This helps ensure that the door will remain closed during a fire to deter the spread of smoke, flames, and toxic gases. 10. Opening is not equipped with auxiliary hardware items which interfere with proper operation. An example of an unacceptable item would be a mechanical hold open, which would prevent the door from closing. 11. No field modifications have been performed that would void the label. NFPA 80 details allowable job site preparations and field modifications may be approved by the listing laboratory. 12. Gasketing and edge seals, where required, are present, continuous, and of the proper type for a fire door. Gasketing is typically required for fire doors in corridors and smoke barriers, but not required for every fire door assembly. Gasketing installed on fire door assemblies must be listed for that purpose. There is an exception for continuous gasketing in the case of a hospital stop where the gasketing is terminated 6 inches or so above the bottom of the frame. 13. Signage on the door covers less than 5% of the door face and is not attached with mechanical fasteners. NFPA 80 requires signage to be installed with adhesive and does not allow the use of screws or nails. Signs must not be installed on fire protection rated glazing or interfere with the operation of the door. Inspecting fire door assemblies will help to ensure that the door, frame, hardware, and glazing are installed properly and will continue to function as intended if a fire occurs. For information about inspections in a particular jurisdiction, refer to the adopted codes. You can also consult the authority having jurisdiction if you have any questions. Visit steeldoor.org for a list of SDI certified manufacturers of fire-rated doors and frames.